This is the plan that we used. Uh, one by ten board, ten, ten feet long. You can build actually three bird boxes out of, out of it, which is what we did. It ends up with something like this, which is what we've got there. So the, most of the bluebird houses are standard, so that the feature that's key is that every fall you have to clean them out. So we have these quick release double head nails and every fall we're going to walk through the park and open the door and get all the wonderful fluff out, close the door and say, okay bluebirds, it's spring, come back, your doors are shut. And then the other feature that is not going to be on all the bluebird houses is on the other side. So this is the cleaning hatch. That's the observatory hatch. You can gently peek in on see how the babies are developing and they can't get out because they're not flying yet. The other thing about these houses, which is interesting that Bill taught me about, is you'll notice that it has a double thickness door entry so that um, animals can't get in there and steal the eggs. You get the benefit of watching the birds grow and uh, it's, it's really interesting. Uh, Plus, at the same time, you're keeping them out of elements and predators and rodents and all these different uh, critters that want to eat their eggs when they're young. You've got a good chance to take some nice photographs and videos and around nature. So there's a lot of neat things about building these blue boxes. But it brings people together, too. Uh, sometimes strangers, but they become friends. And they've all got a common interest in taking care of the bluebirds. So um, we're, we'll continue to hopefully come up with some work group ideas for the coming winter months. And then we will install them in March or April and they'll be on poles throughout the park. The bluebirds arrive in April. So you'll start to see flashes of blue around the park and in this end of town, hopefully in late spring.